Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming next. Good Sports was recorded on Saturday, November 14th. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can ice skate on their outdoor pavilion or on their indoor rink. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, uh, their Learn to Play Hockey, and their Learn to Skate programs as well. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness can be picked up at over 700 locations in KC, and it's absolutely free. Also, with this month's issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 18th straight year as the Sports Illustrated of Kansas City, and I I celebrate my 10th year as the owner and the publisher. Now in our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we write about the Outdoor Ice Pavilion, which is now open, and we're going to talk about that today. In our Sporting Lee Summit Soccer Report, we introduce you to this successful organization and tell you about their leagues, their camps, plus indoor soccer activities. Now you can visit our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, to find a link to a list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website, too. And I also want to mention that you can now get a free subscription to the digital version of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. And all you have to do is go to that new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, and sign up where it says, Join Our Fan Club. Then watch your email for the next issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. And now we're joined today by a different member of the staff here <laughs> at the Kansas City Ice Center. Most of the time it's Dean, uh, Dean Nelson, who's with us, but we are joined by Kay Gentius. Uh She is the skate school director here, uh, but wears many hats as well. Welcome, Kay. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this because it's a very busy day today. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> so what's going on? Uh, it's a big day. You got hockey going on behind us right now. You had learn to skate this morning. You had figure skating this morning. You had learn to play hockey this morning. And it's the grand, it's the grand opening of the Outdoor That's Ice right. Pavilion. Been, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't miss anything. I think you covered it all. I mean, it's a very busy day here at the Kansas City Ice Center because um, we officially are now having our two rinks going at the same time. So the um, lobby's busier, set stands busier. Um, parking lot's busier bu- from what I've busy. heard. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, and, you know, people coming in and out. It's just been kind of, just kind of really weird because it has been so busy. And we're not used to it yet. So. <laughs> well, get used yeah. to it. You'll, you'll be getting used to it fast, <laughs> I know. Um, so the outdoor ice pavilion's actually been open for a couple of days. Um, it opened, what, Well, it's kind of like a soft opening on right, Monday. And right. then, and then, um, the weather did not cooperate, so I don't think they had any practices Wednesday or Thursday oh, night. Okay. But and they did have practice last night, and um, the ice is the wind is hard on the ice right now. So it's um, public's out there right now, but it's still it's a little wet okay. because of the weather. What but does the wind do to the ice? What is does it just? It just kind of just it just melted. Oh okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but the the best conditions actually are coming up in the future certainly yes. um yes. from what i remember 55 degrees is or lower for 55 for the high during the day is right. best okay um and then definitely getting in the 30s at night <laughs> um helps build ice that we might have lost during the day because of the warm weather sure sure uh but we should tell people this is an nhl size rink uh, it's it's just mm-hmm. like the rink that's behind us yes. right now it's kind of the only one in the city yes that's we are the outdoor. largest we are the largest outdoor um, ice skating rink in Johnson County. Yeah, and, and that has certainly has value to, obviously, the hockey players, and that's part of what you do, but also the figure skating yes. uh, as well. Do they yes. go out there and practice Yes, on we have um, freestyle sessions for them to um, um, practice and their numbers and stuff on Thursdays, okay. so um, okay. they do have a chance to get out there. And then we have the holiday show is out there, so they get a chance to perform out there also. Right, right. So this is a big deal for the Kansas City Ice Center and for Kansas City to have that outdoor rink. It's, is this the third year uh, or the fourth year? Fourth year, I think. The fourth year, really? I think, yeah. Yeah, because I was here for the, the grand, grand opening. Yeah, yeah, I think it's um, four. And I'll probably show some video. I went out and skated yeah. and took a camera and, and skated with it, so I'll probably yeah. show some of that. But, okay, so, so economically it's great for the business here, but right. it's also great for the community yeah, as the well. Yeah, the community, I mean, um, it 
you know, nothing says holidays or winter like skating outside <laughs> on an open rink. You yeah. Know, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, for sure. And um, So how many months will it be open? It'll What's be the open usual? from now until the end of February, 1st of March. It just a lot of it depends on the weather. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. And there's a lot of activities that are going on. We'll touch on a couple of these. We'll probably mention them again. Skate with Santa uh, yeah, that's is coming up. Uh -huh. December 20th. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, we're shooting this in, uh, you know, in November, but uh, we want right. people to be able to Definitely. make plans. So again, yeah. it's the 20th. Right. And and we do have that um, event coming up, and then we also have some other events. Um, we are also having a food drive um, oh, with harvesters. Um, the first two weeks of December, if you come on those Sundays, I'm not sure of the dates, but they'll be on our website. Right. Um, and if you donate a can of food, you get in and skate for $5. Oh, that's great. Yes, and then all the food will go to harvesters that's great. and help out needy families. And, of course, everybody should know that you don't have to have your own skates. You can't. No. If you got no. them, you yeah. but there's yeah. plenty of them here for... Yeah. For, for everybody definitely so um and you've got you mentioned that figure skating show i know where yes. we've set up here you've had some of your backgrounds and things like yes. that in the in the past yes. what what's the theme when well, it it's just a um the annual holiday extravaganza oh, okay. is what i call it okay. and it's on december 19th from five to eight it is free admission to um attend and we have up to 80 different performances um that go throughout the evening Ages of the people that um, three to seventy. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> that yes, that, that should be if the three-year-old skates with the seventy-year-old. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah that, would be, that would be really you, interesting. You, sh you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should set that up <laughs> between those two. There that, you go. <laughs> that's that, you know a little comic relief maybe or <laughs> something. Yeah, maybe. Like that. <laughs> it would be fun. The, the cr that would probably get the the largest ovation yeah, of yeah, the crowd. Definitely. Um, definitely. Now. Your mainstay thing that you do here, uh, and it happened a little earlier today, is your Learn to Skate program. That's correct. We're uh, going to talk about that. Um, first off, as the skate school director, um, you've skated before. Yes. And, and probably still do because yes. you teach. Yes. Uh, what's your skating background? Oh, I started skating when I was eight because that was what was allowed in Jefferson City, Missouri. Um, when I grew up, we didn't start lessons until you were in second grade or eight years old. And so I skated until, um, I'm still skating, but um, when I turned 13, I started um, teaching, learn to, learn to skate in Just City. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, helping out the instruct older instructors there, and then just kind of um, grew from there. <laughs> <laughs> turned it into a real job. Yeah, turned it into a real job. Yeah, yeah. so um, learned to, how long have you been here at KCIC? I think it, I'm working on my fourth year. Okay. Yeah, I okay. think. Okay. I'm posi okay. Not positive, but... <laughs> It's, yeah, the way the seasons and all yeah. that stuff go, you, who knows. Um, so Learn to Skate runs year-round. Yes, it does. Um, tell us how the program works, how we many have, weeks or each yeah. session is and stuff we like that. We have six-week classes. Um, they are 30 minutes each. They are on Monday evenings and Saturday mornings. Oh, okay. And then we also have a homeschool lesson. You don't have to be homeschooled to take it, but it's during the day on Thursday at 1030. So the, all levels are welcome at that time. And then... Um, there's six weeks and 30 minutes, and then you get a punch card to come practice on the public session um, how many scheduled. How many don't, so in that six-week period, you get can, how many times can you can you go practice on pra six. a public session? Yeah, you oh, okay. six, yeah so okay. you get six times. Okay. The idea is for the people to take a class and d learn their skills during class and then take it and practice. Right. during a public session within the week that they right. had their lesson. Right. So public skating is usually a couple hours, so that gives you yes. plenty of time mm -hmm. to work on that. Yep. On that. So uh, w when this was going on before we started taping, um, there were a lot of different areas and a lot of different skill levels that right. were out there. How do you break it down if somebody's coming in and getting started? Usually, or, yeah, or we start them at basic one if they're six and over, and then if they're um, the three to five-year-olds, which are my favorite, <laughs> they're the little snow plows, and they start at three, and then we also have a parent and me where they can be like two and under. Okay. And the parent is out there on the ice with the skates on to assist the kid on the ice. That's great. And that's how, basically, that's start basic one. It goes to basic eight. And um, we just divide them up um, one through four in the first half hour. And then the second half hour, we do the more advanced skaters from five to eight. And then we also have freestyle levels. Once you pass basic eight, which is a big deal because you got all your basics. And, and then you go to the freestyle and start learning jumps and spins and... 
stuff like that. And you've got adults that yes, participate we do in this, big, too. They, yes. they, they usually sit right over here by where <laughs> I'm setting up and, yeah. and get ready. Get and, right, and, they, yeah. and they're usually behind me yes, they are when they're behind, doing yeah, that. But you've got a large number of yes, adults. Yes, we do have a large number of adults. It's, it's great. And it, um, it's what's nice about it is that some of the adults have children that are taking lessons at the same time. So um, their kids are taking lessons, they're taking <laughs> lessons, and then at the public session they go skate and practice together. Oh, that's great. It's a great, great family event. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That sure is. So about how many ki uh, kids are participating in Learn to Skate at this time or on, um, on the average? Well, this is a good – I had um, close to 200 in my Learn to Skate this oh, wow. past um, session looking to build up to close to 400 in January. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of participation. Yes. Tell uh, your coach. You've got and you've got coaches. I mean, you have these different stations. Right. You have a lot of coaches out there. Tell yes. us about your coaches. Um, I have the best staff in Kansas City. They all work for me. <laughs> 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 um, but um, we have a lot of them that do it part time, and then we do have a few that do it as a full their full time job, um, oh, where wow. they teach the competitive during the freestyle early mornings, and then they um, take the kids to competition and stuff. And then we have those that just do it recreationally. <laughs> Just to, because um, to pass on the passion for skating, and so right. they um, do it as a part-time job for them, and they enjoy it that way too. That's great, yeah, yeah, because it's it, it's a fun thing to teach a kid to skate, right? Yeah, but yeah. It, it does take patience and a lot of work, yes. and yes. and uh, but some of them just pick it up and phew, they're yeah. gone. Yeah, you know? and then some of them are a little bit more timid and a little <laughs> little more assistance yeah. is needed. So, what equipment do you need? For learn to skate, um, um, you need to dress, you know, like in warm layers. Um, definitely gloves are mm -hmm. a must because if you do fall down, the ice is cold. So <laughs> to get back up, you have to get on your hands and knees. So it's like you need to have gloves. I do recommend um, helmets for those that are three to five year olds, and then helmets for six year and seven year olds are also recommended. But it's not necessary. It just depends on the child and how and the parent and the parent yeah, and how yeah. they want. To dress their yeah, kid. there was a little little boy out there today that didn't have a helmet on, and I thought that was weird, just <laughs> just because every other kid had a bike helmet. Right? On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and if they don't have a helmet, a, a thick stocking cap is is good protection also. Right, right. So, how can people sign up for Learn to Skate? Um, they either can come by the rink or um, go to our website at www.kcicenter.com, and um, there is a link on both the front page and the Learn to Skate page for them to sign up for classes. We do have some that um, start next week, um, okay. but we also have some that will start up again in January. Right. And can, can kids join in in the middle of the session? Um, I know with Learn to Play Hockey, that's, that's well, something they, they um, During Learn to Play Hockey, we let them in like within the first four weeks of class. And Learn to Skate, let, let them in in the first two weeks of class. It's okay. just a little disruptive for the instructors right. and the um, kids because if they're in basic one, usually by the second or third week, they are pretty well moving. And if you stick a kid that's just starting, you're, it just kind of takes away from right. the progression of the rest of the class. Oh, well, that makes sense. It's better to get them started yes. with, with a group with the of kids mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that yeah. they can have fun yeah. with. Um, well, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to talk with Kay when we come back again. Uh, you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. Today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I am Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll have more of Good Sports after these messages. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. These days, we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, get a free chair massage with your initial visit. Just mention KC Sports when you make your appointment. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. 
Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. And take advantage of the best prices of the year during the Winterstone Fall Clearance Last Blast Sale. Visit the Winterstone Pro Shop at 17101 East Kentucky Road in Independence. Find them online at winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? Bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about CORE's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. The Army Reserve has more than 120 unique career opportunities so you can add to your current strengths or build brand new ones. Join the Army Reserve and you'll make a difference in your life and the lives of others. Learn more at goarmy.com slash reserve. For more information, contact the Greater Kansas City Company at 3720 Arrowhead Drive, Suite B. Telephone number 816-531-3818. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong, paid for by the U.S. Army. Get a free subscription to the digital version of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Just sign up on our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com. Then watch your email for the next issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Would you like to have us tape an episode of Good Sports at your business location? Call us today at 913-764-2050. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland. And get golf ready at Eagles Landing. Sign up for five group lessons for $99. For more details on tournaments or memberships, or to set up a tee time, visit eagleslandinggolfcourse.com or call 816-318-0004. Back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435 where you can ice skate on their outdoor pavilion or on their indoor ice rink. You can call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, their learn to skate, and learn to play hockey programs. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out our Heartland Soccer Report presented by Market Leverage. This month, we feature the Sporting KC Soccer Academy. And in our Health and Fitness Report presented by the Rowe Neurology Institute, we discuss stress, a body composition analysis machine called the Bod Pod, and IT band syndrome. And we also honor U.S. Army High School top performers from Grain Valley, Blue Valley North, and feature a future soldier who goes to Olathe East. You can pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Core Strategies Physical Therapy at most of the golf courses in KC. Plus, you'll always find it here at the Kansas City Ice Center. Now, coming up in December on a date to be determined, we'll be back here at the Kansas City Ice Center. And the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And on Friday, December 4th, we'll be at Plaza Liquor, located at 4500 Bellevue in Kansas City, Missouri. And now you can view Good Sports on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. And we're here with Kate Gentius, who is the Skate School Director at the Kansas City Ice Center. Again, Kate, thanks for taking some time on this very busy day here at the Ice Center to sit and talk with us. Oh, thanks. So let's talk about public skating. It is, yes. it is that time of the year. The first public skating session is going on as we speak right now at on the, the outdoor mm -hmm. ice rink. You're going to mm -hmm. be using the outdoor ice rink a lot for yes, public for skating. Public, yeah, all our public sessions um, will be on the pavilion ice sur surface from now until March. The only ones that we don't have outside are the morning ones that are from 9 to 11.30 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. But all our weekend public sessions will be out on the pavilion. Very good, yeah. So it, and it it looked it looked good today when I when I first came in. It looked you know I mean it was clean. It, yeah. I'm sure with the sun, the where the sun where the sun is right. makes and a difference. Yeah, in the win Not actually, in the winter, you want the sun right, there in the right. cold. Well, the wind is the most uh, is harder on it than the sun is. Really? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
walls, I guess, yeah. <laughs> need, well, are needed. Well, that would take away from being outside. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's it's a special thing for, I know for hockey kids, it's a right. very special thing to skate on that uh, right. and, pl- and play a game. The kids that are behind right. us, you know, some of them are playing yes. outside. Mm-hmm. Is it that way for the figure skaters? Do they just get a thrill out of, out of skating I think, outside? I think a lot of them do. There, you know, some that aren't so thrilled about it being outside but <laughs> because of the wind and stuff. But um, um, it does bring the... Um, the outdoors, you know, it's just nothing s- like skating outdoors. Right, and, and nobody nobody skates on ponds, especially yeah, here. Right, yeah. here in Kansas City, it that brings that, that kind of feeling yeah. to the area. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you have some public skating nights, some special things yes. planned yes. in the upcoming weeks right. that people can check out on right. your website. Yes. But what are some of the themes of? The um, we are going to have a Frozen theme where we actually play the Frozen. Disney Frozen movie inside, and we'll play the Frozen movie oh, wow. soundtrack outside oh, while wow. skating. We're going to have an Olaf um, build a snowman. Let's build a snowman station where um, we take the Zamboni snow and um, dump it out somewhere, <laughs> and where they can sit and um, build snowmans. How fun! Yeah, how fun! Are you doing it? Some of the I know in past years you did a Hawaiian shirt night. Yeah, you did well, pajam- pajamas. We are doing pajama night. We're not doing Hawaiian shirt night. This okay. those will be more in January, but um, okay. Um, we have an ugly sweater um, <laughs> night, and then we're having a um, bling it and an old Hollywood night. And oh, nice. Um, um, I can't remember some of the 80s night. So, yeah, we got to have some things planned. And family nights, we'll have a family night on Saturdays in January. That's fun. That's all fun. And, and mm-hmm. you don't have to dress for the part. No. But if you do. <laughs> if you do dress for the themes, you do get in for $5. Oh, okay. Skate. Yeah. Okay. So what's the regular price to get in? It's $8 to for admission and $3 for skate rental. Okay. Okay, and you also do something like uh, scout skates? Yes, if um, your troop wants to come skate and um, as, a, as a group, um, it is $5 to get in for them. And you can also hire an instructor for $40 to work with them on the ice and mm-hmm. teach them some skills. And you have to have at least seven in your group to get that discount. And That's all you have to do is just contact me by email or leave me a message on our phone. I gotcha. So again, a skate with Santa is coming up. When, yes, it, when um, is December that? December 20th. Well? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure of the time, but just check our website. Yeah, kcicecenter.com. Uh, now, you do a lot of parties. You've got a, I, I didn't There's see a that you have. Is There's there a birthday, birthday party, party going right on now, right now? Yeah, and then okay. we have one tomorrow, too. Okay. Yeah, we have um, time for two birthday parties. Room for two birthday parties right. per s- public session time frame that is scheduled on our um, website. So... How does the party thing work for a mom or a dad that's watching this show? Um, they um, just give us a call or contact us by email, and then set we find them a time, and then they um, it's twelve dollars for the popcorn and soda package, or fourteen, I think fifteen dollars for the hot dog and chips package. Okay, and then um, they get that includes skating and popcorn and soda for the, and then you, all you need to do is bring in a cake and some balloons if you want just because we provide right. everything else right and and what's interesting is you can just show up here that the way the kids are here they just get excited going up and down the mm-hmm. the, the hallways yeah. and things like yeah, you know yeah. behind us and all yeah, that stuff yeah. so it's just a great place um to wear your kids out yeah kinda. definitely wear the kids out yeah <laughs> for definitely. sure so um a, a parent um Actually, let's just talk about the, some of the skate clubs. We've got about a minute or okay. so here. You you work with a couple of skate clubs yeah. um, that call KCI Center. Yeah. Home. We are home to two figure skating clubs. They are the Silver Blades Figure Skating Club of Kansas City mm-hmm. and then the Kansas City Figure Skating Club. Um, they both co- um, exist in our building and purchase ice together for the competitive skaters to um, have ice to practice on. Um, and work on their competitive programs and take private lessons. Yeah, I noticed them out there. They're they're doing the spins. They're mm-hmm. working on the jumps. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yep. You know, having success and not having success with the right. jumps. Yeah, but that's exactly. a, that's the learning process yes. as well. Um, and they put on sh- they travel as well, right? Yes, they do go to different competitions in uh, in around the area. Yeah. 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 So just like the hockey kids right. do mm-hmm. um, here. It's so just more of an individual instead of a team right. Right. atmosphere. Right, yeah. right, right. So, um, ag- again, give us the basics on Learn to Skate and how you can get signed up for it and uh, when the next session starts. Well, the next session starts next week, or we do have one that starts up in the middle of January, if you miss the one that starts next week. And um, 
It's um, $95 for six-week classes. They're each 30 minutes long. And um, you do get a public session punch card to come practice um, in between your lessons. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a $12 membership fee that is required once a year that United States Figure Skating, um, since we run their program, requires us. It's a sports liability insurance, basically. Right, which covers the, mm -hmm. the, the student, yes. adult mm -hmm. or, or yeah. child. Mm -hmm. It covers them in case of, you know. Something happens something during happens. class, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So, uh, again, uh, you can reach Kay here at the ice rink. 913-441-3033 uh, is the number here. And you can go to kciicecenter.com to sign up for all that stuff. There's lots of good information on your website. And you, I, you handle that, too, I do don't handle you? the website, yes. Yeah. I do handle a lot of the yeah. information. And um, it takes a lot of time, but um, I want to be able to get everybody as informed as possible yeah. of what's going on here, yeah. Uh, it's a very good w website. You, you do r well, a, great, you. a great job. I mean, you know, I have to do my research, and <laughs> yeah. that's the first place I go, what's going on at KCIC? <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. So yeah. so uh, that will actually do it for our show today. My thanks to the Kansas City Ice Center for hosting us and to Skate School Director Kay Gentris for joining us. Uh, be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, and check out some of our other shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You'll find it online at kcsportspaper.com and all over Kansas City, and it's free. So pick it up today. Thanks for tuning in to Good Sports. Watch more episodes on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or your driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. Are you a migraine sufferer living in Kansas City? Are you tired of trying medication after medication and nothing seems to work? Rowe Neurology Institute can help you. Dr. Vernon Rowe has been treating migraine patients in Kansas City for 30 years. At the Rowe Neurology Institute, we control migraines for 90% of the patients who come to see us by figuring out what triggers their migraines, rather than just prescribing pills. Make an appointment today with Rowe Neurology Institute and start taking your life back. Sign up now for winter and holiday soccer camps and clinics presented by Sporting Lee Summit. They have a keeper clinic, striker clinic, and holiday soccer camp for ages U7 through U18. These camps are designed and facilitated by MLS Coaching, Academy, and Affiliate staff. Space is limited, so register early by going to sportingls.org and clicking on Tournaments and Camps. For more information, call Sporting Lee Summit at 816-554-BALL. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Optimal Health Center in Overland Park has sports medicine specialists who can get you back in the game. And right now, get a free consultation and half-hour massage with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness. To find out more about the wellness solutions available at Optimal Health Center, visit ohckc.org or call 913-888-3338. Be sure to check out the Kansas City Ice Center Hockey Guide inside November's Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You'll find KC Sports Magazine at over 700 locations across Kansas City. And you can check out the issue online at kcsportspaper.com. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, 
visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. Would you like to have us tape an episode of Good Sports at your business location? Call us today at 913-764-2050. Get a free subscription to the digital version of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Just sign up on our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com. Then watch your email for the next issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness.